Merthyr Tydfil. Voila! Who'd have thought you'd find one of Wales' biggest towns with some of its biggest housing estates way up here in the valleys? Sheep shaggers. We might shag them, but the English people eat them. <laughs> it made sense when the mining was still here. But while our industry is long gone, we are not beaten yet. Look at that view. Who wouldn't want to live in Merthyr? <laughs> while Merthyr certainly has its challenges. It holds its brown down. Yeah, exactly. That's how much hair the wind's about. Still taking on pet men. I'm still feeding them. Not living life, I'm just existing like. And with some of us strapped for cash. I've got 36 pence of my electric. Oh. Oh. You'll never see us counted out. Bertha is the arsehole of the world. Oh, what a lovely arsehole. Our men aren't afraid of hard work. Yeah, boy. And the women here. Know what to make themselves heard. Oh, stop it, boys! You go in my head! We've lived in these valleys for thousands of years, and when the chips are down, we're in it together. Which is like money in the bank. What are you skint? Where are we now? It's the buggy road. Hello, I've locked what's up for the top now. It's just all at the mugs in. Like a little pond thing. Yeah, it's good place to grow up, but it's not. It's not good, good, but it's quite good. We don't choose where we're born, but there's no question it makes a big difference to our start in life. It doesn't mean we don't love it, mind. Just that here in Merthyr, we have more mountains to climb. It's where you were from and where you belong, innit? And and this is where I'm from and where I belong, and I'm proud to be part of it. I. It's, it's not bad people here, yeah. it's just down on your luck. And if you grow up in a place where industry is gone and opportunities are hard to come by, you don't have to look far to see what's happening to some of our kids. We are the bird boy. Local girl Kelly has lived in Merthyr all her life. You're right, boy. She's just back from serving 18 months for robbery in Cardiff prison. A third time inside. I'm engaged. I met her in jail. Yeah. How did she propose, Kelly? In the cell. <laughs> Romantic, isn't it? On my knee in the cell. I was dead against lesbians at first, didn't like them at all. We were close friends at first, and then we ended up having a relationship. Been 18 months have been, no, 17 months have been with her now. But obviously now I want to settle down in there, I want to be with her, get out, get a job, a job, you know. <laughs> but. If you want the nice stuff in life, you go to haven't you? She's got my job on luck. Not happy with that. Kelly has been bailed to a man's for now, but she's got plans to get her life back on track. I'm trying to, not, well, not trying to. If I can't get an house around here, then obviously I'm up, I'm open to going out to Mercer, you know, but I don't know how long I'd last. Imagine me in London. <laughs> no. Why not? They're supposed to be crazy bastards up there. You don't always need a home and a job to settle down. Bananas, some cherry bakewells, and everything's in dates. More yogurts. Nicola and Sai, a local Merthyr couple, have been together for two years. We're natural survivors. The people from the hills. Since losing their flat three months ago and becoming homeless, Sai and Nicola have been pitching a tent wherever they can. We're going to move it. Too many fishermen pass here, so. I've lived in Scotland, Kent, London, everywhere. You can't take Merthyr from yourself, you always come back. Sai's done a total of 20 years in prison for crimes including armed robbery, shoplifting and fraud. He's used to living rough and now he's in his 40s, he's a proper Ray Mears. There's uh, the cushions everywhere, that's why yeah, then I can use to play games, charge a phone, two solar power. <laughs> you got to uh, improvise with what you got. <sighs> you like this? Yeah. You don't have to be sleeping rough to be homeless, though. Here, this road. Simon single, 24, and sofa surfing at his brother's bed sit. Ah, fucking kidding me. No electric. 
got weird light in his flat somewhere. No electric or not, I am finding a light in his flat. What the fuck do they do with them all? Oh, uh, we have left off. Ah. This is the meter. I'm under his roof. I pay some of the bills. That's how life is. Just get the meter, slide the key in, and... Just like magic. The bed sits a local hangout. But only three people actually sleep here every night. Simon, his brother Scott, and their friend Chrissy. If I'm a worker, Chrissy's the housekeeper, and Scott, well, he's like the lieutenant, he, he, he controls it, he gets to say, oh, out. <laughs> Some people oh, no. might call it a bed sit. I call it open plan you? living myself, what you know what I mean? <laughs> Simon's the only one with a job at the moment, but that doesn't mean he has the most money. <laughs> so where is it that you work at? Ah, uh, <laughs> chocolate factory. Sorry, oh, I'm one of the umpa lumpas, yeah. I am. Zero hour contract, basically, means that I'm in full time work, but literally I could go a week's work without having a shift. And if you have no regular hours, they can't pay regular bills. What happens if they only give me two shifts in one week? I haven't got enough to pay rent then. Eh? So it's just like catch 22, stuck, stuck in a circle. I the fuck it away! Scott's bed set isn't only for mates to sleep over. Come Friday night, it's party central. Oh, come now, let's go. Why? Should I get fucking tripped out last night? Get out. Yeah, fuck you all, motherfucker. Wait, you coming out there or not? I ain't going out. Take that hell out of my face! All right. Just gonna jump up there. Where's everyone gone? Out at home. Best place for them when they like that. I'm from here now. I have got no money. You don't have to be on benefits to be poor. These days, having a job doesn't guarantee you enough money to have a home or a future. I only have six jobs when I'm older. Maybe more. I just don't want to like, stay in the house and just sit around. I just want to have a job. At least I've got to live in. I want to like, live my life. Kelly's set on finding a job so she can get a flat ready for when her fiancé gets out of prison. Excuse me, can I leave a CV you love? Yes. Ta. Can I hand a CV in, please? When I was in j -Lo, I was doing the kitchen. I wouldn't mind doing cooking and I've, I've got certificates. I've got all my certificates done in Jane. Where can we stick this one? As you can see from my CV that I've got, experience in the work that they want. Cover not to say I've been in jail and disclose your letter it is. Say what I've been in jail for, how long I've done and then I ain't gonna do it again. I'm trying and I. Finding work in this town isn't as easy as it once was. We were never out of work, were we? Because you, we had always had another job to go to. They take all the industry away and expect youngsters to look for work. You walk out of a job yeah, on Friday, you start on a new one on Monday. Yeah. I did. Are you filming this? <laughs> Communal sense of spirit. It's an intersecond! Intersecond! <laughs> Mad, didn't hear you want change. But how old is our fucking car then? I'm 30, you're fucking older than me. Even when you're planning a future, round here, you don't have to go far to revisit your past. Kelly stopped by the estate where she grew up, 15 minutes outside Merthyr Town. It is fucking pretty slow around ya. Yeah? There's fuck all up ya. Yeah. Used to be a shop that closed down. They got nothing up ya, yeah, the kids, and they haven't even got a fucking football turf or nothing like that. Nothing, only this. Yeah, I've stood ya yeah, for fucking hours, believe me, I have. In these shops. Shane, come and tell them what it's like to grow up in Drake and baby, you're my age, you know. <laughs> See, I was in the homes at 12. She threw me in the fucking homes. My mother checked me in the homes, I fucking cried my eyes out again. She left me in there and all. Why did she put you in the homes? Oh, I was a bad girl. I was running away all the time with my dad. She's basically not listening. 
You going, babe? We go in. Yeah, boy. <laughs> the difference between a house and home is love. Love and affection, yeah. warmth, comfort, somewhere and somewhere where you can sleep. Yeah. Safe. Safe. But sleep can be a luxury. When your home's not your own, your bed's the only sofa, and the party's turned into an all-nighter. See, Marco, you can tell me not all night. Oh! Lift it, Scott, if I Simon's been kept awake by the partying all night, and his next shift is in three hours. <laughs> Big age difference between me and Scott. I mean, I'm five years older than him. Living with my youngest baby brother. You don't feel much of a man when you can't provide for yourself. You know what I mean? You should be able to provide for yourself. All but when you can't, do you feel like I'm, you know what I mean? Just like in this space around each other too often. That's why I like it when I do have a full week's work. I mean, you got his space, I got my space. We do, we do all different things, and well, if I haven't got work, I'm stuck there. Uh. To make things worse, Simon's afternoon shift has been cancelled. Lovely Welsh weather to set us off. But he's still got a trek into town Cold. to pay back a loan. Ah, uh, yeah, your 2 p.m. shift has been cancelled today. Sorry. I just think the sorry is not like, I just think that's wrong. But if you know how, there's always a way to save a bit of money. Why don't you have to pay? Because the conductor ain't coming round. It's too lazy. <laughs> too lazy to collect them. I need them more than them anyway. they got a stable job. Can't have a house because I'm not guaranteed five shifts a week. Only young at the end of the day, you still... You're trying to get, get moving on with our lives, right? But moving on and making changes is never straightforward. With nobody to love. Kelly's been out of prison for six weeks. Without a job or a place of her own, the call of the valleys and the chance to hang out with her mates is stronger than ever, especially when the sun's shining. So my mum said to me this morning, you've got to settle down, Kelly's 30 now. But I just can't. I do, I have tried, don't get me wrong, I have tried. I just can't fucking do it. I just like my party in and I, you know? And when you're caught between life on the inside yes. and partying on the outside, it's hard to make relationships work. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't even gay to start with. But she phoned the other day bitching at me, so I told her to jog night. on. It's just a comfort thing, like being having that relationship, was it real love or...? In jail? Yeah. Do you know, I thought I loved her at one point. But obviously I couldn't have, could I? Because it's I wouldn't... It's fast thing. Love me instead. No, I love myself, <laughs> boy. Now she's hanging around with 18-year-old Dan. He's on the run from the police. I skipped I skip court like, 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 like an idiot. Oh, what was it you did? Breach. Breach of what? Breach of court. Breach no, pain. wait a minute now. What was your charges for you to... Burglary. End up at burglary. They go, go fears, you go, eh? you going down. They won't have a look at me. They're knocking your fathers every day. They, they know they can't catch me. If I, if I don't want to be found, I don't want to be found. Dan, I don't want to lose my friend life. If you have to, you ain't going to lose Aye. me, Dan. I'm still going to be there when you get out. Talk. You never know. I just might end up back in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to go to a man's shit. No. I'd love it. <laughs> ah, get in yourself, you prick. <laughs> Yeah, boy! <laughs> 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 That's a great pick. I'm good pack. I'm 
doing solo, I don't do relationships, and I can. They do try. Just they just don't work. And if you're young, free, and single, and don't have a job, there's worse places to be than Merthyr. Yes. Living the life. Scott, you told me you should be here. Well, if I can watch. Like Simon, Chrissy has been bedding down at Scott's flat for the past few weeks. I sleep there, I do on the floor there. Right where the carpet is. Rest, cut the pillows on it and put my head down there. Oh, comfiest bed in fucking the South Wales district, that ain't right, bad guy. Why is comfort in our fucking city? You won't get your head down there, set you there, do I? No, no, what the fuck? Oh, you stupid. But Chrissy doesn't stay anywhere long. Right? Yeah, I'll catch you later though, Chris. All right, bro. He's moving on to someone else's sofa. I am on wrestle. Just been basically shifting from girl's house to girl's house to girl's house. It's like I was, uh, sort of back and forth, back and forth. I went up the housing yesterday. I have a look to see what was on the forms and I couldn't bid for nothing on it because they're all three bedroom houses. I'm only allowed to bid for flats. Chrissy has been on the housing list for two years. He survives on disability benefits since he was seriously injured in a knife attack, the result of some girl trouble. Oh, uh, I made a mistake. I went with some woman, well, my best friend's girlfriend. Whoever makes mistakes, that's how you learn, isn't it? We said no next time now, not the fucking part wrong with other people's fucking girlfriends. But four walls are not for everyone. And you'd have to go far to find a better place in the valleys for living wild. You take me to places that would blow your mind. This is nothing to me. Nothing. This is just outside my back door. As soon as you come down this tunnel, there's a step up to your left. I lived here for about five months, I did. The third arch in from the end. I used to sleep over there. I went over there. That side and that side. And I've slept in, yeah, a few times, because there's a dead end cove. And if you build a fire out, yeah, the heat just comes in there. There's no, no, no draft coming out way at all. Above the arch, now, have a look at that all. I know the way to that, and the other side of that is a big secret room. Bigger than any flat you've ever had. And why did you live here, Si? Because I was homeless. I came out to prison, I was homeless. I wasn't going to Nicola then. I was on my own. I'd just come out of a 21 year relationship. I wanted time on my own. I didn't think I'd fall in love again ever after the last one, right? But uh, I even tried not to. <laughs> I couldn't help her because she's such a nice person. <laughs> I think she changed me a bit. Because I've been in prison for two years now. Yeah. That's shocking. Yeah. Shocking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Love might have come late to Sai and Nicola, but together they're making the best of what's available to them. But living wild and free isn't for everyone. With no set hours for the coming week, Simon's agency has suggested he sign on. It says nationality. Am I a UK citizen or am I just British? <laughs> One just like a Welsh. <laughs> Since your last clean job seekers a lot once has your address changed. Nope, I'm still homeless. Do not want to sign on the door. I hate signing on the door, but I gotta do it because basically I gotta work two days, two days is not enough. Basically I wanna be made permanent up the factory and it to me is just saying, no, be patient, be patient. I think I've been patient long enough up the factory to be honest. Off to see little Christy, see how he is. Poor bastard sleeping in the shed. Cheer him up, take him for a little bit of break in there. Chrissy's had to move on again. He split from the girl he was with and can't go back to the bedsit as he's fallen out with one of the boys over another girl. So I normally sleep sound. Fuck sleeping on that. Have, <laughs> have a look what this man kid's doing, how he's been sleeping. Get in there and watch the spiders on fucking uh, arm. Watch the fucking creepy crawlies. <laughs> but I'd be too tall for this. Fucking six foot. Get like, just like I like. Yeah, to get comfy, but. Well, fuck that, son. <laughs> Who the fuck you keeping in this, son? I know what you've got fucking no one else. I've got 
fuck it, nak sen. Yeah. <laughs> I always be new problems. <laughs> I can't get up for the fucking women. <laughs> Everybody knows you best friends. Everyone's in there. It's fucking, it's fucking hard work. Happy days. Miss Black, what's all about your week? Go on, if I can say it to him. What's he going on in? Well, I'll never end up like I'm outside. Truth is, whatever your circumstances, you can't predict the future. That doesn't mean you shouldn't make plans. She's trying to engage with her again. We got engaged just three weeks ago. She's worth it. Love can be the most painful thing in the world or the most joyful thing in the world. And it's the most joyful of me. I've been for a long time. We do everything together. Everything. Si and Nicola are popping into Garth Villas, Merthyr's homeless hostel. There's a long waiting list for beds, but they'll help you out even when you're camping in the woods. I phoned her on with the washing. If I could do for now, I could take it off you, I could do the washing, give you a collection time to pick it up. That'd be magic, yeah. thanks. I'll leave it there, right? Thanks very much again. Well, you can have your laundry then, I know. You get depressed when you do yeah. it. Sorry if you're on the street, as long as you're clean, and people don't know you're on the street then. And after the washing, it's time to go shopping. This is the way you have to do it. You are dun 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 dun. How many times a week? Um, depends how much food we need. You only twice last week. Empty one and buy. Sai and Nicola aren't the only ones living hand to mouth from here. Yeah, I drink some tea tins of beer. Uh... Loads of them. Oh my god. Jay! When trouble is what you've known, it's often what you look for. Oh my god, look how fat you've gone. Kelly's two months out of prison, but her friend Jade only got out yesterday and needs a bit of backup while she gets herself sorted. What are you going to say to her, then? Like, where the fuck's in the clothes? Where are you giving them away for? Are you? I bet you don't, you pussy. Jade, what are you going in for? Where's that clothes? I don't know where that fucking clothes is. Lowry! Come here! She just said to me, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, come. Jade, we'll look at the crates for me, here. back me up. You took one. So one. why? Lowry got my fucking clothes, she won't give them back. She haven't got What did Carla tell me? That's what she said to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that clothes? She said to me, that's why I did not know. It's not the trainers, Carla, don't. She went like this behind it. When you went, she went like this to me. She did tell me you can shut. Where's the fucking clothes? I've got no one knows where the clothes are. Of course, I haven't jumped out. I told you I haven't got a Get in, Mal, we're off. Go. Oh. Bye, hey. Did you get your clothes? No. They're all gone. Oh, oh basically, Jade was a fucking pussy by her, and she? If somebody gave my clothes away, like I'd fucking strangle her. When you've spent a lot of time on the inside, it takes just one wrong move on the outside to land you straight back in prison. Despite Nicola's good influence, si has been charged with handling stolen goods, and because of his past record, he's being held on remand instead of being bailed. He's up in court this morning. If you haven't known you already, you'd be coming out to one of those, like. So my plan was to offer about beer. But I don't know if he's in or not, like, so... So if he's not in this one, that means he's arrived in either of them pair of you, like... Hey! Hey, no! Slow down while you say in. Yeah. With Sai locked up in prison, Nicola's on her own on the streets. Yeah. <whistles> 
scare you. If I let you. Where is this lake? Um, St Edwin's Hospital. Yeah, I recognise this. You've been here before then? Yeah. No, dead end. It's like a maze, yeah? Ah, no, hang on. Here we are. Ah, so I got yeah, a lock on the door. What do you think you'll do, Nick, if Simon doesn't come out for a while? Um, I don't know, I don't know. What is it? A Valium. Oh, name is tree. So I'll probably keep this for an emergency. Some may say we've been forgotten about in Merthyr, but there's no doubt our prince remembers us. He's on his way for a visit. Look at Prince Charles giggling in this photo. Won't be giggling when he visits again, I slam me there, Lou. <laughs> prince Charles is the prince of me. Yes, he's the prince of Wales, yes. <laughs> yeah. Look what this fucking time is, he? Fuck me, people go to work, like. In the glory days of coal and steel, a royal visit would have meant flags and bunting and Sunday best. <laughs> He's getting definitely locked up today, he is, isn't he? The fracking crowd, the fracking crowd is safe. Simon's still got no work, and him and the boys have time on their hands. <laughs> the Prince of Wales and can't even turn up one time. There we go. Excuse me, why are you because I'm not against him as a person, I'm against the monarchy because we haven't got any money or jobs and then they are not paying any taxes. So oh, I, why have you got such a nasty flag? Well, it's not a nasty flag, no. We distribute the wealth. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. How's the way on the way? Oh, did he have a good journey? Yeah, journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got a police escort. Police escort. We'll now go there. Quick, boys, run! <laughs> I haven't done nothing. Imminent Bentley. Oh, we're having his wheels off right now. Thanks a lot. all trying to get into the building. <laughs> Is it half term? 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 You jump in this fucking bend, you know, spin off, off, wheel spin off all over a fucking brand new tarp, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say to you? Just off my hands, what? Chris, you bragging the fucking things out the way, out the way. Out the way, chucked his hand out like a bump. <laughs> Nicola didn't make it to see the prince and his Bentley. She's got more pressing things to think about. Do you think it'll be safe leaving your stuff here? I hope it is. It'll be safe for the anywhere else. Just the only thing that spoils this place is the drugs and the drink. They should have banded drugs, smoke, drink. Will would have been a lovely place. With butterflies in there. And however many butterflies we have, there's no denying drugs and drink mess things up. Just a few months ago, Nicola had to secure a roof over her head. Nicola, you're just fine, man. What oh, jeez, yes. 
He'd be alright, Simon. Well, he's hardcore. He's like fucking Ray Mears. So yeah. <laughs> How are you like your son last night? Oh, bedroom tax. Bedroom tax? No. What do you mean bedroom tax? So you, so you had your own place? Yeah. And because you wouldn't pay bedroom tax? Yeah, but hold on a minute. Haven't everybody got to pay bedroom tax if they've got a spare bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, Brian. All makes you any different. All right, right. I told right. Got to pay it, haven't you? Was it um, drinking and fucking gear heads in the house and all that? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, why they evicted you, not because of bedroom tax, because of all the drinking and the drugs back and forth. Isn't it? Do you yeah, agree with that? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. And not being disrespectful, Nick, right? But say you've got a two bedroom flat to play, and you've got all the gear heads back and forth there, and they're drinking and that. Yeah. And she's got that baby down there. She needs that house more than you, yeah, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. Got to face consequences for the things you do in life, see? You were starving. No, I was. I've had some. No, I got a pound. Yeah. Oh, you go grab yourself some. Are oh, you sure? Yeah. Oh, chuck it. Nick, don't spend our long here now and shit like that. Fucking make sure you have food. How long? Sometimes drugs and alcohol are our undoing, and sometimes it's just being young and not thinking things through. The boys' days at the bed sitter are over. They're being evicted after several warnings for their loud parties. Apart from a weight bench and a coffee table, a cooker, and washing machine, freezer, fridge. Do they stay in, do they? No, go in. they all go in. I had the washing machine off who, I had the fridge off who, I had it all off who. Microwave if you want to take that. Where are you going to stay? At my mates for a couple of weeks. Don't know after that. I have to work something out now. Scott, why, why are you leaving then? Well, there's people around there complaining about me, saying that I'm playing loud music. Maybe I did go over a bit too much, like. Well, and oh, did, you did, yeah, you did. But. But did I complain? Yeah. yeah. If I got something to say, say to you, you I'll knock you yeah, a door. Yeah, yeah. If I got a problem. Yeah, that's unless. At the end of the day, youngsters deserve a chance in life. Let me try and end, Scott. Go, go. Do the keys? Yeah. Can you fall? Yeah. <sighs> Kelly has given up on finding a job and a place of her own. Climb up to the top. I'm king of the world. <gasps> Sing to me, Dad. She and Dan are partying hard and enjoying their freedom before Dan goes back inside. Okay. Yeah, go on! <laughs> Little bummy. <laughs> he shit in himself. <laughs> Is it scary? Write my name over there. It's been a few of them up here. Yeah. They try and swim the sea and they can't do it. I don't know, when your ticket's up, your ticket's up, and then you're gone. I wouldn't like to fucking drown, no. Or fire. If I'm going to die, I want it to be fast. Here in Merthyr, the mines taught us all about loss and grief. Feel the adrenaline. And life without the mines <laughs> has taken its toll on us too. Yeah, I was close to Luke as well. I'm close to all my brothers. Depression I was, first degree depression. Died the 22nd of July, a week before his birthday, his 20th. No, listen, I used to come up here and I'd sit here for hours and just cry. One of the boys said to me, listen, you're going to be crying, he ain't even up there, so... Yeah, it started to wise up a bit then. Well, I went to jail then, that's how I stopped coming up here. It's fucked with my head big time, did. Depression's a real danger when you're down on your luck. And having nowhere to stay isn't a good start. That's my clothes are gonna get changed in too long. I got all dirty fucking clothes on for now, where you put in the night sun, uh, dress up tidy like. Never worry over anything, you only fuck you up. 
so we just fuck in come here I'll just go down with whatever I gotta fucking do. Be grateful to see another day. It's hard to get going with your life when you're living day to day. Hard to get a job or make relationships work. But being young and full of hope can be enough to see you through. Is this where you've been staying? Yeah, this is where I stay, yeah. My little patch, like, where I've been lying for the last two weeks. Until the housing sorts something out. Green stuff, gets me to sleep, see? Keeps me fucking chilled out the mellow, less trouble, nice and calm. This is Chrissy's life for now. Police finally caught up with Kelly's friend Dan. He's back in prison, sentenced to nine weeks for breaching his parole. He's a good boy, Dan he is. And play fuck love Kel. Check it out, stiff up a lip. It's nearly the end of this week now, so you got what seven weeks left. It's fucking dragging all. It is. <laughs> Prison can be seen as an occupational hazard when you're living life on the edge. Kelly, are you going back in? No, if I can help it. No. Lily, I know it's 100%. I'm not going to go back in on my licence. I know I ain't, right? But as soon as the licence is off me, something will fuck up and I'll end up getting locked up. It, that's just how it goes. It's fucking it's crazy. It's an adventure. No? Life's one big adventure. If your life is going round in circles and your dreams have faded, you learn to enjoy the present. Yeah, boy! <laughs> because sometimes that's all you've got. You're going to jump in here, John. Can you swim? Why are you getting up our way for, Dave? Why didn't you fucking pull yourself round? Whoa, be a bad boy, fuck it! Yeah, boy! John, that's your bath for the fucking week now. <laughs> you gotta know someone's background, really, haven't you, to judge her? How do you mean? My dad died when I was 17, see, Lil. And oh, it's the same again. People, people I know my father know and saying the truth as well. He was fucking flat out, he loved to drink. I think that's where I get it from. See, my dad, when he died, Lil. He didn't leave us much, yeah. He left me his attitude. All right, maybe I'm a bit more of a bitch because I'm a girl, yeah. <laughs> he let me stand my own two feet. How to survive on my own going solo. And he gave me his ass. Chrissy's had enough. He's sick of waiting for a house, so he's decided to go and build one himself. How long did it take you to do this, Chrissy? Six hours, most. Took us hours to do it, and about five hours to do this. You're not trying any homeless charities? No, I fucking can't be asked to go here, like. To me, smart heads are in places like that, like, I don't want to be fucking around them, they're my near them. So I'd rather fucking sleep, yeah, but... Don't want to be around people that I don't want to be with, like, no fucking chance. My dad was an alcoholic, gambled a lot. Uh, I, hate the, I hate gambling, full stop. I've never gambled in my life. I, like, uh, I didn't start drinking until I was 22, but I don't like drinking. I only have like one or two when I'm out drinking, clubbing. One or two is enough, but I won't drink no more than that. How would you ideally like your life then? Just want a peaceful life, my own house. And 
one day I might have my own family. That's if I get a, like a job and my own house and everything like. I won't have a family if I'm struggling like I am now. Sometimes, just sometimes, determination pays off. Simon's been offered a six-month contract at the factory. They told me night to rare, because I've been up here so long. And I'm reliable. They just offered me nights. Took them as soon as I could. Huh? If I get a Saturday as well, that'll be 59 hours of work this week. Forget it. Someone said that you'd be working 50 hours a week and be homeless. What would you say? I said, fuck, <laughs> what happened to my life? <laughs> nah, a lot more people worse off than me. I know what. Simon's out today. <laughs> After three months on remand, Sai's charges were reduced and he's being released today. I can't believe he's out today. Oh, well. You've got to have the fuse, haven't you? Yeah, you've got to. Cheers, Frank. Cheers. Huh? Cheers, Cheers. 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 I wouldn't mind it if you could have been locked up together. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a free spirit for them. Always. My father wasn't there much when I was a child, child, but he was there when I was a teenager. He was always in prison. Is there a pattern there where your dad was in prison, you were in prison? It's Why a common pattern in Mesa. Common pattern. Why though? Odom. Same circle of life, there's nothing changing now, there's no jobs being produced, none at all. And they haven't been for years. Is it tiring, this lifestyle, sorry, Nick? Because, it, like I say, no, it looks keeps like you fit. It, is it? You wouldn't no. want to be rich. No. What's the point? Everything's money is the answer to happiness, it's not. Who would you invite here if you wanted to show them, say, you should come and live here? Who would it be? Um, I'd pick two people. Three people, the Prime Minister, the Queen, and you. So you'd have, like, a lovely posh house like this from you. Is that a posh house there? I think so. Not quite sure that, but... Where would the Queen go, then? That one. <laughs> I'm enjoying that. Sean Gwynny, I think she'd go up, up this road and turn right, it's the posh houses there. Two posh houses. Prime Minister Gwynny, the one, and she'd be next door to him. Chrissy's self made house in the woods is finished, and he's got guests coming. Oh, if I slip on my ass, I will not be fucking happy, son. Come and step on the red carpet, son. Oh, you're going to put a red carpet up there, bit. Come, this one. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Five-star carpet. How bad? It's all right for what you yeah. do pick up around the woods, like. I might fucking live in the woods, but I'm still looking good. <laughs> you know when people who walk up the motorway with their thumbs up, what they call it now? It's like that's two of them walk through my land. I got up like that. So what the fuck are you doing? So you're not walking from my fucking house? <laughs> no fucking chance, I don't. I got my fucking dinner on, man. <laughs> I won't go down the fucking steps. I don't even trust them myself. I fucking cleaned all this before you come up, man. Fucking leaves keep falling on my deck, eh, man. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 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 I don't
Should we roll them, now, Dan? Dan's done his nine weeks in prison and he's back out, mucking about with Kelly. Is that a proposal, Dan? Uh, Is that a proposal? <laughs> so, so you think you could tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field From a cold steel rail A smile from a veil Do you think you can tell Sometimes the things we're most drawn to are the things that do us most harm. It's hard to resist the pull. Like Merthyr itself. We wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But without jobs or opportunities, there's little hope for our future. But these valleys have cradled our families for thousands of years and will always be our home. Walk on past.